Hi, I'm Mav and welcome to my Witcher's Garden. I don't get a huge amount of time to spend keeping my garden super tidy, but that's okay because I actually prefer it to run a little wild. Because of that wildness, we get a fair few plants that come in from outside the garden, often spread by small animals and birds and sometimes just blown in by the wind. One such plant is this. It's a superstar of British verges and hedgerows. It has many different names, but my all time favorite one is Jack by the Hedge, Latin name Aliaria petiolata. Jack by the hedge, they live on the edge. In spring they are seen in the grass and the green. Edges and hedges are important in witchcraft. They delineate the boundaries of things, not just physical space, although that's important too, um, but the boundaries between worlds, between states of mind, states of being, and the marker between mundane and the magic. Plants that form hedgerows are often deeply associated with boundary magic and can be seen as either the guardians of boundaries or the tools with which to transverse those boundaries. Jack by the hedge is also called garlic mustard or even poor man's mustard. This is because it has a flavour which is reminiscent of garlic and mustard and it's widely available around native woodlands and hedgerows. This makes poor man's mustard a free seasoning to anyone who wants to go out and pick some. Remember, never pick and eat wild plants if you have no experience foraging. Take someone with you who can confidently identify edible plants. Never take too much and be sure you're foraging on public, not private land. The name Jack may be a reference to the fact that another name for this plant is Devil by the Hedge. Uh, there's a piece of folklore that states that the garlicky smell would become more pungent around dusk, warning children that the devil was on the prowl and that it was time to get home to their parents. Jack, to me, though, reminds me of Jack in the Green, that May Day custom of wearing green foliage and paint and joining a joyful procession through the town. Garlic mustard, Jack by the Hedge, Found in verges, wasteland, the edge of towns and streets, yet growing wild, a plant which is anything but mild. The leaves are pungent, tasty too, and used in salad, sauce and stew, with pointy leaves and flowers white. Jack keeps our verges looking bright. Another name for Jack by the Hedge is Sauce Alone because it's so flavourful you don't need many additions in order to create something really yummy. Garlic mustard pesto is an easy recipe. You just blend lots of Jack by the Hedge leaves with some olive oil, pine nuts or walnuts, a bit of parmesan cheese. Um, you can even add uh, actual garlic if you want to make it really strong and garlicky. You can add parsley too. Just experiment and see what works and what tastes nice. Jack by the Hedge isn't just good for us to eat, it's also good for wildlife too particularly at uh, the orange tip butterfly. This butterfly lays its eggs on the leaves and the caterpillars use it for food once they hatch. In Britain and much of Europe, Jack by the Hedge is a vital part of the ecosystem. However, in North America and some other places, it's actually an invasive species with very few benefits uh, to wildlife. It can actually reduce the biodiversity of those woodlands. That is why it's so important not to artificially spread plants outside their natural habitats. And you shouldn't take cuttings with you if you move overseas or anything like that. Um, Jack by the Hedge is biennial. That means it has a life cycle of two years. In the first year, the leaves are roundish with saw-like edges 
these big round leaves here, these are what it looks like in the first year. You see these edges here. It's like a sawtooth one. And the second year, the leaves are pointier, which is like those ones at the top. And then in April and May, so around now, you get the tiny white flowers. These flowers eventually produce seed pods and the light seeds are blown far and wide by the wind to sow lots more garlic mustard for the following year. As a medicinal herb, chat by the hedge, it's chock full of vitamin A and vitamin C, so it's good for growth, for development and the immune system. Um, in folk medicine, the plant is used as a diuretic, which means it makes you wee more. Magically, Jack is a child of the hedgerow and as such associated with boundaries and protection. The heat of the spice speaks of an association with fire too, which is appropriate as it's nearly always in flower uh, around or just before the time of Beltane as it is now. I won't pick these flowers from my Beltane altar, although I may use some of the leaves in dishes that I'll make to celebrate. I'm going to let it go to seed and maybe next year I'll have even more Jack by the Hedge in this little wild corner of my little wild witch's garden. See you again. Bye.